Hey there, today I'm going to show you how to draw a baby dragon from Clash Royale. So I'm going to have the character facing in that direction, sort of in a three-quarter position. So we start at the top of the face with the eye, and the eye is basically an oval. So starting from the top, and curve around, down towards the bottom, and then back up. Let's draw in the iris and pupil. So we're going to draw it on the right bottom corner here. So we're going to tuck in a circle just under here. So starting on the outside, curving around, and down towards the bottom. From here I'm going to draw a little highlight circle at the top. Just a little tiny circle like that. And then just around the perimeter of this circle, we're just going to draw the pupil. So it's just circling around on the inside. And we'll color the inside area in black. From here, let's draw an eye bag. So just on the left side here, I'm just going to curve out a little eye bag like that. Let's work our way around the head. So just above the eye, we're going to draw the brow line. So up here on the left, go up above the eye, so it goes a little bit higher in the middle, and then just comes down. From here, we're going to draw the top of the skull. So just over to the right of center, we're going to go up, and we're just going to come down the profile of the face like this. From here we're going to draw the opposite side of the brow on the right side. So up here, just lining up with the top of the left, we're going to come down with a curve, just like that. From here let's draw the top of the nose. So up here we're going to draw a curve from left to right, so just over here, curving out towards the right side. And then we're going to draw the profile of the face coming down to the top of the beak. So from here we're going to curve out, and then we're going to curve back into the center of the top lip area, so like this. From here we're going to curve around up to the cheek, so we're going to have it smiling, so the cheek is up here, so what we can do is draw a half, sort of like a circle curve, kind of like that. We're going to connect the center to that point here. So we're going to start up here, we're going to curve down, we're going to go up a little bit and straighten out, and then back down towards that point. We'll just close that off a little bit there. From here let's draw the nostrils, so there's two nostrils here. On this side we're going to draw a circle, and then on the right side of the circle, we're going to start at the very top and just draw the inner edge of that nostril. Go ahead and color the inside in black. Let's draw the right side nostril, but this one we're going to draw a little bit squished, so it's almost like an oval. So starting from the top, coming down to the bottom, and then back up to the top. Now we want to make sure that the height are the same and the bottom part is the same as well. Up here we're going to draw, again, the inside edge of the nostril and color this in black. Okay, from here, we're going to have the mouth in an open position, but it gets a little bit tricky here because we want to overlap the tongue on top of the bottom lip. So if we draw the mouth curve like this, we start in this corner here, we're going to curve down towards this area where the tongue would overlap. But along the way, I'm going to overlap some teeth. So from here, I'm going to curve down towards my finger, and stop right about here, I'm going to draw a little socket, so a little indent like this. From these two points, I'm just going to draw a curve going out. We're going to continue this curve towards my finger, stop it one more time, and draw another indent. Connect those two points with a curve like this. From here, now that we can draw the tongue overlapping on top of the bottom lip. So from here, I'm going to draw the top edge of the tongue. So from here, curve over that tooth, and it'll just come down like this. Now this is the center point of the tongue, the little split in the middle of the tongue. So we're going to come up here to the side of the tooth, we'll curve over to the left, down towards the bottom, curving around, and then we'll swing this back up and just tuck this in behind that center line. From here, we're going to continue this curve for the inside edge of the gum. So coming out to here, with a little short line, draw one more indent, and we'll connect those two points with the curve like this. Now from here, from this point, I'm just going to go straight out. We'll go back up here where we're going to draw the bottom lip. So now this is the gum line. We want to draw the bottom lip. So starting at the same starting point, we're just going to curve around the teeth and just tuck this in behind the tongue and we're just going to work our way up to this point here. Just close that off like that. Now from here we're going to draw probably one more tooth, a little molar in behind. So up here, we draw a little curve. We'll connect those two points with a curve like that. And then back here I'm going to draw the back side of the mouth here. So this part on the back side. So up here, I'm just going to curve in towards that tooth. And along this top, we're going to draw a couple teeth. So all we need to do is just draw three little humps, like so. Okay, from here, we've got the big chin that comes down, but this 
It gets a little bit tricky because we're going to have to draw the arm overlapping on top of the body and part of the face, and we're going to draw the leg on top of the arm. So there's three sort of layers going on here. So let's get to, to the shoulder area. So this I'm going to draw in first. So up here, we're going to have the body sort of sitting down. We're going to draw the shoulder right here. Starting back here on the side of the jaw, I'm just going to curve down like this. Now from this point, now I can draw in the chin working its way up to the side of the jaw. So from here, I just want to tuck this chin in behind this arm. Starting at the tip of the mouth, curve in behind this arm. And now we want to sort of imagine this curve going up, just sort of along the jaw. Just let it sort of vanish off like that. From here, we're going to draw the arm profile, so the edge of the arm coming down in front of the body. So the body I'm going to draw down to here. I want to draw a foot, the bottom of the foot here, because it's going to be sitting sort of in like, like a, how a baby would sit. So up here we're going to draw an overlap, and we're just going to curve down, just to get a sense of how long the body's going to be. From here, I'm just going to draw in the bottom of the foot here. So because the body's sitting this way, the feet are coming out this way, so the foot is going to be in that position here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with the first toe first. So there's three toes. I'm going to start with the curl first. So curling around like this. Okay, so I'm just picking a spot just somewhere around here. We can fill in the gaps afterwards. From this point, I'm going to draw a little indent, a little socket for the nail. Just draw a little curve for the top of the nail. Let's go up here and just put in a little, another a second toe tucked in underneath that first toe. We'll do another indent and we'll just close it off with another curve. We're going to continue this curve in behind. So it looks like a circle tucked in behind this curve here. Now we're going to do one more. So we're going to come around this, draw another indent, and we'll close that off with a curve and just finish off the rest of the toe there. From this point, all I want to do is just from starting below this toe, and curve all the way around to this side of the foot. So we can start here, curl around, and tuck this in behind that toe. Now if you want, you can draw a few little pad details under here. I'm going to probably reserve that for the coloring phase. Of this drawing. So from here, now I can finish off this hand. So this hand is going to be tucked in behind this, this foot. So I'll just curve around like this. If you want, you can draw a few little fingernails. So I'm going to draw one here, one here, and probably one for the thumb just up here. Now let's finish off the leg. So from here, because the foot's facing forward, I'm going to draw the knee in this direction. So it's just going to come up like this, kind of like this in behind that foot. This arm, because it's stretched out this way, here's the shoulder area. This arm is going to come up and I'll probably see just the back of the arm poking up like that. Okay, from here, let's get into the back. So we're going to have it hunched over, the legs turned this way, and there's going to be a tail here. So if I just use my fingers to sort of gauge, gauge this out, I'm going to start up here, just up above this brow line, and curve across. Now I'm going to have to draw a little reverse socket for the wing, so I'm just going to draw that in now. So I'm going to move over, just draw a curve like that. I'm going to come in, do a little overlap, and just curve down, just like this. Okay, so now we're starting to get a sense of what the body's going to look like. From here, the tail's going to come up this way. I'm going to curl it around this leg this way. So if I want, I can just finish off this leg right now, and then reserve some space for the tail here. So I'm going to leave a gap. So I'm going to draw the body curving around towards the leg. The tail will come in after. So up here, just imagine this curve coming across. I'm going to come up, and then just kind of straighten out. So this goes right into the foot. Up here, I'm going to go up and draw a curve down towards the tip of the tail. And the tail is quite short. I'm going to round up the tip of the tail and reverse curve underneath that leg. Let's go back and finish off this side of the body, on the right side. So from here, I'm going to draw on the belly. So the neck is here. The body's going to come around. So right about here, I'm just going to draw the belly curving around behind that fingernail. You'll probably see a little bit coming around here. And then the opposite arm, the little hand, probably curve around like this. I'm keeping this quite simple, so I'm not doing a lot of overlapping. Here, we'll probably see one nail, and probably see one more here. Now, I want to do is just draw that same foot over on this side behind this arm. So I'm going to start with this toe first. So curving around, drawing in that socket, and then drawing the nail, and then curling around the toe. Now we're going to draw the second toe. So we're going to start up here, curving up, drawing the socket, drawing the nail, and then from this point we'll just curl around, tuck that in behind that first toe. 
And then the final toe, we're just going to come out this way, do a little socket, to a little toenail, and from here we're going to curl around, and then we're going to finish off the foot with this curve here. So just at the bottom of this toe, we'll curl around and tuck this in behind that hand. We're going to draw the top of the leg, you're going to see a little bit of that going on here. So just pulling that in just like that. So we've got the main part of the body. Let's finish this off with the wings. Actually, before I do that, I'm going to draw the little spikes along the back, and there's four of them. So up here, I'm going to draw a little hump like this, tucked in behind the body. We'll draw one here, and we'll just make them a little bit smaller as we get towards the tip of the tail. I'll draw a tiny one at the bottom here. Uh, we can draw in, actually, the, uh, the horns on top of the head, so the reverse horns going backwards. So I'm going to locate this one just behind this eye, so curving out this way. I'm going to curve in like this towards that eye. I'm going to round out the tip a little bit, so it's not a real sharp point, and I'll curve this back in so it's tapering out as it gets towards the head. We'll draw the other one up here. This one's going to come out like this. We'll round out the tip, and just pull that right into the back of the head. Let's draw in the wings. So this is a simple sort of wing. It's got a bone that goes up to the first joint, and we have two little, almost like fingers that stick out from there. So from this hump, I'm going to start on the right side of the hump and curve up, just around that horn. I'm going to cur reverse curve and come up to the tip of the wing, which I'll probably draw to here. So curving around and right towards my finger. From this point, I'm going to taper out towards the center point. Taper it so it gets a little bit thicker as I come around to this point here. Now from here, I'm going to curve that first sort of joint like this and curve back in like that. From here, I just want to trace and follow the line of this line on the right side. Now we're just going to connect these two points and then the base with a curve that goes inwards. So from up at the top, we'll curve in. From here to here, we're going to curve in. It's a very simple wing design. I want to draw that same wing in behind the body for the other side. So I'm going to take this and replicate it back here. So I'm going to probably locate it somewhere around here. So I'm going to start with the tip, curving up and then pulling in behind the head. We're going to draw that first inner line first. So curving in. Now we're going to draw this point. This is going to vanish in behind the horns and continue on this way. And I probably want to draw a little bit of that thickness going in behind like this, coming down. Let's put that gap off there. Let's draw that little web in between here. And that's pretty much it. There we have it. There's the baby dragon from Clash Royale. I hope you enjoyed this lesson. Please make sure you subscribe. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again soon.